homework. Everybody did the homework, right? <laughs> okay, hand it in. No. <laughs> um, let's see. <laughs> it's all of the grade. <laughs> Okay, so the first homework assignment um, was to figure out what distribution of Python you're using, get it installed. Now I know that a lot of you folks have to live with IT, which means that that already is not possible. <laughs> um, but uh, um, figure out what ID you want to use and so on. Any questions on any of this? We can come back to this next week. Yes. When you type Python, it'll tell you. It'll tell you what the ver. It'll, yeah, w as, as soon as you type Python, um, let's see. Um, there it is, right there. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, and in this case, because it's the end thought package, it's telling us what the end thought version number is. But but that's it, right there. Python two. There's also a variable inside Python that you can use to check, and I don't remember where it is exactly. Okay. Anything else? Okay. All right. Next, next module was um, these three questions. Let's go through those quickly. Okay, what's the difference between those three statements? First one creates an integer. Second one creates a float. Third one creates a string. Is there any difference between any of those three definitions? The answer is no. They all create exactly the same string. Uh, and then I asked you, where do you find the routines that are associated with strings? And the goal was to get you to take a look at the Python documentation. Um, if you go to the documentation, then um, you start, start looking through the options there. and um, why it might not have been obvious, the place you want to go to is this definition for the standard library. When you look through the standard library, it takes a little while until you find the right spot. And then is you have to look for built-in types, and then you see, see um, str, which is the type for a string. And under there, you'll find, uh, you'll find uh, documents for the string types. And in section 5.6.1, you have the documentation for the string types. Um, and if you typed um, Python str functions or something like that in Google, it would bring you pretty close. I think it would bring you up to the page where that's found, to the standard library. So, okay. Uh, data types um, on, the, on the next module, um, that's a tuple. Um, that's a list, difference be be being the um, parentheses versus the square brackets. This is a string, and this one is a trick. This is two strings joined by a comma. That makes it a tuple. And to make it more obvious, this one here, I put the parentheses there. But remember those parentheses are optional. Okay. Um, then this defines a dict. A dictionary. And then finally, this also defines a list just like this, but it's a list containing a tuple. And over here, if we look at this a little bit more carefully, I've defined this. I look at the type. Its type is a list. When I look at the type for each of the elements in sequence, I see the first element is an int, the second element's type is a tuple, and the third element's type is also an int. <coughs> 